Hey everyone, this is your host Brian, and today you're going to learn all about our podcast and meet almost all of our members. Today's topic, shower shoes, yay or nay? Find out about all that and more on this week's episode of the Pause Button Podcast. So, uh, let's go through our, our co-host here and all that. I, my name's Brian, and I'm kind of like, you know, the, the guy that will start it all off, and then the people who are all staring at me are the people who will eventually jump in when they realize that the sentence is going nowhere. I can keep it going, but, uh, you're gonna... Alright, hi, I'm there we Joe. Go. There we go. Um, I'm gonna be the one who jumps in, I guess, and what, so what do you want me to say besides that, actually? I don't know. What's your what's the meaning of life? What's your aspirations in life? I have no aspirations. What, what drives you? <laughs> Shower shoes, yay or nay? Shower shoes in your own home, nay. I mean, you're wrong. Well, are we, are we really just gonna sit there and take that? Apparently, I don't. I don't know what else to say to that because he's never changed over this many years. Brian wears shower shoes in his own home. I do, and I regret nothing. The, the the person interjecting with the wrong opinion with Joey here is... Hey, I, I'm Pat, and I was about to introduce myself like an adult, but uh, I don't wear shower shoes, uh, especially not at home, and uh, I'm here to uh, keep Brian in line with the back of my hand. He, he hits me in places you can't see in public, so it's okay. You know? The best part about us doing an audio-only podcast is you can't see the bruises. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Next person, please, quick. All right, yeah, all right, moving all right. lightly on to... <laughs> all right. Well, I'm Devante. And uh, shower shoes, I'm going to go with nay, but... But? Yay, if you're in, like, a locker room situation. When you share uh, a common ground with other people showering. What about a hotel? Uh, Depends on the hotel. We're talking three-star, four-star, five-star hotel. Like, I mean... Depends. Like if it's a gross hotel, of course you have shower shoes. But if I'm staying at the Hilton where there's going to be a clean bathroom, mm-hmm. nay. I don't know. You never know. A locker room situation sounds like very ominous. Like I don't know, it just sounds weird. Like if you were somewhere and somebody's like, "Hey, we have a locker room situation." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is in the locker room? I like to imagine Brian walking into a locker room, but he's got like Nikes on. <laughs> Those shower shoes shower. are shoes. They're, <laughs> shoes. They're shoes I wear in the shower. That you know. completely naked with the night. Got no socks. Got no some socks. nice neon laces. Yeah. <laughs> Go running. So the podcast. Yeah, this is a podcast, and uh, we're actually not going to be talking about shower shoes uh, much longer, unless you guys had any. If I mean, if you want to hear more about shower shoes, definitely tweet us, email us. Um, at showershoesforlife.com. And Copyright. Will, or, uh, it's supposed Copyright. to be an email, yeah. But anyway, just, <laughs> you, just you know, contact us and let us know because I'm sure there's a lot of people who want to know that information. But This is a furious debate in the soup across the country. We, we should really establish our position on that before going further into the podcast. So there's our opinions and take it it's just, as you It's may. just to you. It's just, yeah, it's just it's me. just you. Devante a little bit. You got stipulations. You need a little, like, yeah. But it's a no know, with a little asterisk. specific like stimu- stipulations. Never shower shoes, no, but I can understand in those. I, I should say we were, sh- they're shower sandals. I don't know why we use the term shoes. They're flip flops. Anyway, I always so the you podcast, were like, oh. yeah, the podcast. We, we, I mean, we can go on and on, but <laughs> this podcast will be discussing four big things: movies, video games, shows, and music. And we're gonna, you know, have different topics about that and share our experiences with them and which ones we like and. Go forward from there. So today we figured it'd be a fun game if we all try to guess each other's top three favorite movies, video games, shows, and music artists. I think movies is a good place to start. It's the summer, movie season and all that. So. Want to guess mine first? I was going to say, let's let's guess Pat's top three movies. We're hoping that by doing this it'll give you a better idea of what sort of host you're dealing with here. Yeah, you know, get a little bit of our uh, our tastes in these things. If you hate us or not, and if you hate us, we understand. I mean, we, we deserve mostly it, if so, you right? hate Brian, yeah. the rest mm-hmm. of us kind of offensive, honestly. If you don't like us, yeah, it's it's not right. Make sure to choose favorites though. Make sure you know 
post posts like that of all of us. Yeah, yeah. We, we want your lists at that uh, shower shoes, whatever. Uh, shower shoes. Everybody, life. just yeah. Do yeah. me a favor right now. Open up your Twitter accounts. Follow Brian Maloney on there, and then just mute him. Just <laughs> mute him right now. <laughs> So you can see none of his posts. <laughs> I don't have a Twitter. Um, I'm gonna go make one right now so you can mute me. I do really appreciate that. Thank you. But but Pat's movies. We're, I should mention we are in Pat's basement recording, and there are some movie posters on the wall. So if I had to guess your top three movies, I would guess Star Wars Episode Three, Ant Man, and Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, you would be incorrect about all three of those. Hey, all right. Mm. Oh, I thought Mad Max was up there actually. So I, I really, I, I really enjoy Mad Max, and I, I honestly enjoy all three of those movies. But they are, they are not my favorites. Okay. Yeah, right. I, I, I think we're onto something with the Star Wars thing, though. I think we can yeah. narrow it down. Are we doing like of all time or specific genre? Oh, of all time. All time. Just all time. you, you got to. Good to know that after ten years of knowing me, you know, don't have any idea what my favorite movies are, Joey. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> I didn't think that that was going to be coming at Personal me. Personal attack, like, okay. yeah. <laughs> me and Devontae already know. We talked about this beforehand. Like We, we know him. Like, come on. Like, it's I Joey was kind of thinking maybe Scott Pilgrim vs. the World might be on there. That's uh, we watched there. that like, a lot in high school. <laughs> That's in my easily my top ten movies. Probably top five, but I don't think top three. Ooh, hot take from Pat. I'm that close. Yeah, so far. Well, Brian, what do you think? I'm, I'm going to say... Uh, there's got to be a Star Wars in there. I'm going to go episode... Oh, it's either episode 5 or Rogue One. Uh, Maybe episode 5. I'm going to go Rogue One. Yeah, I'm going to go Rogue One. I'm going to say episode 5, just to be the outlier here. Uh, episode 5 is correct, actually. Dang I'm not yeah. saying Rogue I was one, right, I love, but you were wrong. Right. <laughs> episode 5 is my favorite Star Wars, and it's probably my third favorite movie of all time. Oh, there we go. We've got three. We've got yeah, two and one to go. Three. Before we move on, Pat, how many times did you see Rogue One in theaters? Five times. Yeah. yeah. So you, you... how many times have you seen Spider-Man: Homecoming or Far From Home? <laughs> we, we're not on me right now, Joey. <laughs> this is some personal attacks, and it was four. So, <laughs> so we got three. We, we think two is. I, I feel like a Marvel movie's got to be in there, right? Some type of superhero movie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, maybe Spider-Man Two, Tobey Maguire, and Doc Ock, and all that. Um, uh, I'm gonna guess. Winter Soldier, maybe? Winter Soldier. Oh, Winter Soldier's a really good one. Captain America, yes. You know what, Joey? You want to, want to double down on Winter Soldier? Yeah. There we go. Pat? Uh, that is correct. Number two. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at me. I look at that. that. So, number one. Oh, no. This is a flashback of us in, like, high school where you told me your favorite movie kind of came to the front of my mind and then immediately disappeared. So, uh. I was going to say, I've definitely told you my favorite movie before, yep, Brian. Yep, Brian and I have known each other for 20 years, listeners. You know what's so. a really good idea is to start a podcast with your friends and then immediately test your knowledge and your friendship uh, on a live recording. That's a Absolutely. really good idea. Absolutely. It's kind of like playing the newlywed game and then you know you're going to get divorced after the newlywed game because you realize you didn't know anything about each other. Why, Jerry, why did you think I like mint chocolate chip ice cream? I've never liked mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> you know how, the, how the, those arguments went on that show. You know that your sarcastic brother likes <laughs> mint chocolate chip ice cream and I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it, Brian? Oh, uh, you know. My favorite movie. It's got to be, oh, it's a movie I haven't seen before, directed by Quentin Tarantino, and it's Pulp Fiction. That is correct. Oh, hey. wow. Okay. The movie is Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. I'm a garbage person, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's all I got. I can agree with that. That's, that's why that hits me. He told me he'd stop hitting me if I ever watched Pulp Fiction, and he's still getting around to it. Turns out he likes it when I hit him. <laughs> Turns out he very much enjoys it. You learn know, a lot of things that, that aren't true on this podcast. Uh, nope, all facts. All facts, huh? Mostly the shower shoes stuff. Yeah, yeah. But th- there we go. We got we got pets down pretty well. Yeah, yeah. That was actually worked out pretty, pretty smoothly. Yeah. Devonte, Pat, we, we, Joey, and my brains are going. You know, working my, hard here. What, what do you say? Uh, Halloween. That would be my number one. So Pat, oh, got that right. all right. Halloween. Now this is the like original like 1980. Yeah, they're just 80s because I don't remember exactly the the year. If I had to guess, it was, like 87, maybe. Hold on, Halloween. Quick question: Are all three of yours horror movies? 
No. Oh. Okay. No. Oh, no. You know, I know one of them already. But before we get to that Halloween, that's Michael Myers, right? It is, correct. I've seen bits of that where he's like hey. in the in the, uh, the the bedroom and he's got the sheet over and his glasses on. Yeah, that's that hilarious. In the original, yeah. This is that. a great way. I realized going through this topic, it's a great way of having our audience that we're trying to build here decide that they already hate the host. <laughs> yes, already yeah. hate him. Uh, well, if we stop if personally attacking thing, me, like if there's one thing that you should probably know about Brian, if you were surprised that he wasn't exactly sure if it was Michael Myers or not for Halloween, it's the fact that Brian is what you would call in some cultures, an uncultured swine. Um, <laughs> an ignorant slut, possibly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anything else? Definitely he's also... heavier on the slut side than <laughs> ignorant side, but it's okay. It's all yeah. on the resume. He's also <laughs> horrified of horror movies. Oh, yeah. Uh, we went to see It. I sunk into my seat, watched it through my hands, and... Uh... I, I you I think you're right. I think I like the, like the the, the torture because I'm gonna go see part two for some reason I don't understand. Wait, what did you see? It, it, uh, Stephen King's it. See, it. Oh, yeah. I thought I could uh, keep this joke going for longer. I'm smarter than you. <laughs> Stephen come on, King's come it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, bring your A game. Right. But we got we got number one. Yeah, I'm going one. to say that what number two. The remake though. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, I know some people didn't really like it as much. But I think they gave some closure compared to the rest of the um, Halloween movies that were kind of like spinoffs when, spoilers, I'm sorry for people who haven't seen it, these movies are super old, but Laurie dies in some of the movies. What? Yeah, this is an alternate timeline that shouldn't exist in the first place. But then they brought her back in the remake to get some closure to everybody who was like, why would he you know, actually kill Laurie and you know, not? So, yeah, that was pretty good. I liked the new one, personally, yeah. yeah. I'm not like a diehard guy though. On that, you but. just kind of win. I mean, they released it at a great time, October yeah. and all that. Yeah. Time. So Brian, you said you had an idea. Of oh what yeah. Those yeah. Are. I'm going to say I just recently watched a uh, Ev- everything great about video about it, and it reminded me how it's an amazing film. I want to say your number two is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. No, <sighs> is it is a very great <laughs> movie. Don't get me wrong. It's not number three, is it? It's- it's not number three. Uh, it's, right. it's probably it's definitely like in my top ten or even my top five, but it's not in the top three. Well, those are all the ideas I had. Joey, so. you haven't thrown thrown any out there yet. I'm I'm at a loss, honestly, because I was gonna go with a horror movie, and I was I was gonna say Halloween for the first guest. So I'm really I don't know right now. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm throwing out the Child's Play. That's the Chucky one, right? Nope. Nope. Uh, I can give you a hint. Sure. It is a Marvel movie. That's number two. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Thor The Dark World. Oh, yes, you got it. Got, got it. it. <laughs> there we go. That's, we should mention that's everybody's number one favorite movie. In the, that's all our favorite movie. We're just ignoring that because it's just a fact. So it's like this is everything underneath the obvious, you know? Infinity War? Nope. Damn. I'm a, I, Spider-Man's his favorite, like, hero, right? That is correct. So it's got to be Homecoming. You are correct. Hey. Spider-Man Homecoming is my second favorite You movie. like Homecoming more than Spider-Verse. I do. I mean, I, I so I, I appreciate Spider Verse, and I love the storyline, but I feel like uh, Tom Holland was what I always imagined Spider Man to be. The, people always talk about Robert Downey Jr. being the perfect casting for Iron Man. I mean, Tom Holland might be an even better casting for right. Spider-Man. Like I love I love Toby, and then Andrew Garfield. You know, tried his best with what he could have done. <laughs> <laughs> you put but, forth the best effort, you know. But I I love I love Tom Holland's personality, and I feel like he fits the best for Spider Man, in my opinion. I mean, but I can understand why people would think Spider Verse is better than Homecoming. That's, that's respect, oh, yeah. respectfully put. Respectfully put. So yeah, one more. Three? Yeah, one more. I can give you a hint on that one too. It's a sure. Disney movie. Oh wow! Okay, animated. Animated. Yep. Aladdin. Correct. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you got oh. it. <laughs> wow. That is my top three. Now we can't talk about movies without talking about the live action stuff that uh, Disney's putting out. What did, did you see Aladdin the new one? Was amazing. I the new one. I highly recommend. I Will saw it Smith too. Smith was great. Yeah, it was great. And people had so many worries about that, and like when it came out, when he was looking all blue, they're like, "Oh, this is trash." And then I saw it, I was like, "He did a good job." I couldn't imagine anyone else doing it after I saw the movie. Yeah, I have yet to see it, but I've heard. Way more positive things about Aladdin than I've heard about the new Lion King. That is Whoa, is there, is there bad stuff about the new Lion King? The, the it, main issue that seems to be yeah, coming forth when people talk about it is that they put so much effort into making the animals realistic and everything about the settings realistic in their animation that 
it takes away from a lot of the colorful beauty and over the top ridiculousness of some of the songs and beats and um, great fun. That makes sense. I heard Hakuna Matata and uh, Can't Wait to Be King are both uh, songs that specifically suffered from. Being yeah, Can't Wait to Be King action, with like the, the live action. When they make like the totem yeah. pole of like all the animals and all right. that, like. Yeah, and they can't really do that when they have realistic animals. Huh. I didn't even think of that. That's a good point. Also, I feel like, at least with Lion King, they should have taken the approach that Jungle Book did when it's like, looks realistic, but isn't as realistic as watching Natural Ge- Geographic. But I feel that, at least I read, I didn't see the movie myself, but there's like no emotion behind any of the scenes in Lion King because they look like actual animals. And like, some animals can show some. They need that human emotion. element. Exactly. Like, you know. I did I, hear the performances were great, though. Oh, I mean, yeah, that cast yeah, is everyone did great. unbelievable. It's stupid how good yep. that cast is. Star studded. Yeah. All right. So, there's t- two two down, two to go. Joey. All right. Top three favorite. Hold on. Back in about 2003, uh, Nickelodeon was putting out different movies. And I might have forgotten the title, but I think it's uh, Time Stoppers. Where they got the watch, the, the watches that stop time. What? What? Was that Nickelodeon? <laughs> that was Nickelodeon, and I'm going to say that's your number three favorite movie of all time. You should go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Um, I was going for a deep cut. You know, I thought you know, shot in the dark. <laughs> Not the weirdest thing, though. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one out there. I don't think it, it's actually going to be, but I know it's one I've heard about you enjoying a lot. Was uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh no! Yeah, no, not okay. in there. But it's a, it is a really good movie, okay. though. Yeah. Then I have no it's idea. Like, I used to have, I think, more like indie tastes, mm-hmm. and I don't have that as much anymore now. Like, stop being so extra. Stop trying to be so arrogant. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, that's why we included you in the podcast was to be indie. Oh shit! Oh, oh god! Yeah, that's uh, your reason. Let me talk about Neutral Milk Hotel or something. It's too late. Know. We are now down to three. Uh, <laughs> How are we? <laughs> that was good. You've got to at least start bringing boxed water to drink. Out. Boxed, boxed water. water. Yeah. <laughs> hey, James Smith has just water. They come in a box. It's called <laughs> just water. It's called just water. Is that the same one that? Um, one of our friends gets it at Whole Foods. Is that the same boxed one? It's called water. just water. No, he gets no? just boxed water. Uh, it's literally boxed water. Is right. Called. Okay. All right. All right, so I don't know. You want to give us a hint here, a genre or like a time um, of? I guess one of them. Uh, I don't really have them in a specific order. I guess right now, but um, one of them is a Disney movie, and it is animated. If that's a good Lion hint. King, no Hercules, no. <laughs> yeah. hard to guess. <laughs> How old is it? Is it a nineties one? Or is it one of those? It's like, like early. Seasons? I would say early two thousands. Zootopia, no. Damn. Uh, early two thousands. Zootopia 2000s. was good though. Yeah. yeah. You're not one of those Treasure Planet people, are you? No, no. Oh, uh, it's the one with the pirates, right? The space pirate? Treasure Planet? That's true. <laughs> 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 yeah. Actually, yes, it is. No. Obviously, the most forget. you got to be indie. It's got to be the most forgotten about Disney movie, Atlantis. No. Oh, that's a good one, though. See, no. see that's why he's here. That's our indie. Yeah. indie. Pixar animated? or Pixar. Wally? No. Wait, Pixar? got to be... Think more. about, I like animals a lot. Is our animals. Pixar and animals. Finding Nemo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, I love yeah. Finding yeah, you, Nemo. You, you, like the life, the, the water, like animal life, like... Like a fish? Yeah. The, Is like that the fish. word you're They're looking for? not all for? fishes. There's turtles. <laughs> sea yeah. sponges. No, yeah. Fish. I love I love animals, and I specifically like... I really like fish and all that. So, that movie was great for that aspect of it. But I think it's just like a fun movie. Did you enjoy Finding Dory? I haven't seen it, but I I did. Um, I heard a little bit of like backlash about it. I mean, it's not as great as like Finding Nemo for sure, but I do worry about Pixar. I feel like they they used to be like the gold standard, and then as time went on, they just kind of Toy Story Four was considered amazing. It was for all intents and purposes. Okay. Uh, I just saw Incredibles two. Oh, did, oh yeah, how was that? A couple that? nights ago, it was good. I didn't think it was as good as the first one, but I thought it was an entertaining movie. Okay. I still don't know why it took them 15 years to make that movie. Money. Yeah, money. <laughs> what? They're, they're owned by Disney. Like, they're literally like the, the most well-funded. Well, yeah, they need to know that they're going to make money. And it builds up a desire for people to see that film if they wait a long enough time. Now, some people would argue they waited too long. Yeah, because I haven't seen it. I loved the first one. And I was like, hey, it's dancing so long. 
Yeah, but you also haven't seen Halloween 1. I saw pieces. Disappointing. You know what I have seen? Time Stoppers from Nickelodeon, 2003. Great film. Joey has two more, and Tom, our tech guy, is going to shoot himself in the head if we don't keep going. <laughs> when you were talking about the Time Stoppers, for some reason I thought that you were trying to talk about Shark Boy and Lava Girl, and I was like, oh, oh God. I will, I will, I will, I will kids three. Yeah, Spy Spy kids three. <laughs> Not two, three. It only got better as time went on. Um, I'm going to need some hints from you. But, okay, so I guess another hint for one that I like a lot is a uh, Marvel movie um, as well. There's a trend here. And, <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we're all friends, so. Uh, yeah, it's a Marvel movie. I would say it's probably one of the more recent-ish ones. Infinity War. Yeah, hey. Infinity War. Hey. I love that movie. There's just, like, so much action going on. And the fact that it wasn't, like, a right out like they won right away and stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. It was. I really liked how it left on that cliffhanger. It's like our gen- just disappearing. It's yeah. our generation's uh, Empire Strikes Back. Where it's like shit's bad, looking real bad. There's this That's one. It. This is one guy I know who said he had to stop watching Infinity War, Infinity War part way through because he hated it so much. He said it was one of the worst movies ever seen. It was all nonsensical. Tone was all over the place, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. He's like, I don't care about any of these characters, and I was like, how many? Marvel MCU movies have you watched? And he's like, I saw Iron Man 1. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. There, yeah. That yeah. might be the problem, <laughs> sir. That may have, in fact, been the issue. That, that's a big yeah. thing that concerns me. I, I I love all the Marvel stuff, so it's like, you know, as time goes on, how are they going to deal with, like, the continuity thing? There are kids, like, you know, who are 10 years old today. They were born after Iron Man and Hulk and Thor, like, and granted, they're wrapping some stuff up, but the, the continuity thing, you know, it's the, they got to keep going on and try to keep everybody involved as the story just gets more and more complex and more out there and bigger. And Yeah. Well, they could always do what I did to try and catch up, you know. That's what I wanted to talk about. Watch all the movies within three weeks. Joey is a true <laughs> Three uh, weeks. Before Endgame came out. 20, 20, I think before Endgame, there would have been 21 movies then? Yeah, well, so I watched... Probably, I guess it was more like twenty because I didn't watch the Hulk, so yeah, you don't uh, need to. didn't really want to sit myself through that one. There's no humor. That's the issue with that movie. It, the, it, yeah, I mean, like the Edward Norton's great. The storyline makes sense, uh, but and, and, and Will, Will, William Hurt's the guy who played Thunderbolt. Uh, William right? Hurt. Yeah, he's great. Uh, the villain's okay, but the, there's no humor, and that's what I, I think drives the Marvel movies. At the end of the day, is the humor is always just great. Well, yeah. not not. We were talking yeah, about throwing our world earlier. Like, Ultron, I mean, come on. Hey, there was, <laughs> some of that humor is good. Yeah, like, like Hawkeye's nice. speech, like, we're in a floating city in the sky. None of this makes sense. Like, that's funny. Like, okay, yeah, I guess I can give that to you. Anything Ultron. Yeah, so Ultron, was. like, everyone's like, yeah, give me a dark, twisted, like, ready to just kill humanity Ultron. And he's making, like, these annoying quips. It's like, oh, thanks, Joss Whedon. <laughs> So th- th- is that two, That's then? two. That's two, yeah. The Infinity last War, one, Nemo. I really don't think you guys are going to get. Uh, not I, to be is arrogant. Is it indie? It's not like indie. I think it was a more popular movie like back in the day, but I don't know. It's probably like falling through the cracks. Oh, oh Napoleon Dynamite, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> when I first watched Napoleon Dynamite, I was like way too young to understand the humor, so I was like, this movie sucks. Like, I don't Same understand here. any of this. Same and here. like watching it later, it's just like, I love it. The humor is so great. I got it. Yeah. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Oh, that used to be my favorite movie. Hey. Oh, oh, for a long I'm going time. Going to the memory bank. I remember yeah. you in high school talking about that one. I watched that movie a lot of times, like way too many times for anyone to ever watch a Sarah, Michael Sarah movie. I mean, <laughs> how many Sarah times did I watch Scott Pilgrim? Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> We're very dedicated to Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah, if you're listening, please, please message us. And Absolutely. I don't just come and Shower guest star on the podcast. Life. I really don't think if he's you guest on the po- podcast, I will get a tattoo of your face on my shoulder. Oh, you heard it here first. <laughs> so give us a hint. So it's about basketball, kind of basketball. Loving basketball? No, not loving Damn. basketball. More of like a comedy vibe. Basketball. What the fuck? Basketball. Is that a real thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's obviously not in it by a movie that features <laughs> the actual band Real Big Fish in it. They're in the movie oh, playing sellout. Okay. Have I well, seen it? No, you know but movie. I know that, that it's in there. <laughs> of course you haven't seen it. <laughs> but um, no, not that one. 
Uh, and it's not Space Jam. I'll just come out and say <laughs> it's not Space Jam. <laughs> well, I mean, that's every... Air I, Bud. Yeah. No, not Air Bud. So, What's I'll just say it. Yeah, you, or you can just yeah I'm just going to say it because I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's um, White Men Can't Jump. Oh, you were oh, telling me about that. Yeah, yeah. so I've told people about this movie, but we've never... It's great. I, I don't think I've ever really watched it with anybody else. It's um has Wesley Snipes and Woody yeah. Harrelson in it, and they're like a tag team that kind of like hustle people on the streets playing basketball games. Um, really good movie. They're really funny, and I love both of those actors. So well, There we go. Yeah. Huh. You should remember that one. So at this point, you you probably like Brian has not seen any movies at all. So, I mean, this could be could be hard for How many guys. of your top three are in the MCU? All. <laughs> Every single one. I had it, at least two. I had my list narrowed down to four. Wait, this is top three. I, that's why I, I gotta get <laughs> rid of one. So you didn't get rid of one while listening to three other people. Go I was trying those? to guess. I was involved in the conversation. It was important. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll knock one off. So, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, all right. In game, is that one or two? One. I'm guessing one. Yeah, it's got to be one. He cries like every time he sees it. More multiple times, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw it in theaters six times. Uh, five. Is it possible for a, a, a human being to cry uh, seeing a movie for the fifth time? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is. I'm, I'm not saying that we achieved human perfection with that movie, um, but that's as close as humanity's ever going to get. So. Also, is it possible to watch a movie about? Uh, a nuclear bombing and not cry? A girl that Brian dated at one time answered Oof. that question. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It, it, the movie in question was uh, 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 Grave of the Fireflies. Uh, the, this, this girl left that, that movie and asked us why we thought that movie was sad. Yeah. And it's about children <laughs> dying in Hiroshima from the- well. It was, it was Nagasaki. One of them. It was just a lot of issues, starvation and stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, but like yeah. the, you, they died see, after the yeah. fact. Regardless, yeah. it is yeah. easily the animated version of uh, uh, Schindler's List. So some would argue sadder than Schindler's List. Some art would argue that Schindler's List is sadder. Uh, but either way, it's a terribly sad. Basically, movie. a young kid taking care of his younger sister, basically, and like has no idea about how to keep her alive. Almost, you know. If you can watch that movie and not break. I don't know. I don't know. So another light topic. Yeah. So was, was Endgame your number one? Endgame is my number one. I've never been more motivated to see a movie in theaters. I wish I could see it another time. It might actually be in theaters. Are you guys free after this? Oh, God. No. <laughs> got three free hours. How about Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, no, actually. Not one or two? No. I, I really enjoy that. It's not even in my top five uh, uh, Marvel MCU uh, movies. Yeah. It's a really good movie. And I love that movie, but. So was I correct in surmising that all of them are MCU? They are not all MCU. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. How many of them are? Uh, well, two of the four were. Space Jam. <laughs> That's an MCU movie, right? Yeah, uh, definitely. You know what? I'm taking out the other MCU movie just to make it fair to the other ones. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> right. move away from MCU. <laughs> this is this is how things usually go. I already regret my Brian decision, but questions. I just said it. So <laughs> how old were you when you first had chocolate cake? 17. It's not related to any movies I've ever seen, but I was 17 when I had chocolate cake for the first time. So, And uh, grilled cheese sandwich? I'm sorry. Is this the shit on Brian podcast or the pause button podcast? I'm having trouble remembering. You were the one that wanted to ask about movies, and I'd like to point out you you, you, you said we're going to also go through movies, music, and television shows, and we're 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in. All right. So go, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, we've, you could guess one of these. It's pretty easy to guess. Is it Infinity War? No, no there's no, not no more MCU. MCU. Oh, no, no more MCU. MCU. Oh. Just, just so we can get a little more of my taste in movies. The other one was Civil War, but you know, we'll cut that out. That, that was my number one movie until Endgame came out. So what's the genre of the other movie? They're both comedies. One okay. from, I think, the 90s, and then the other one came out while we were in high school. And I think that's enough of a hint. Oh, how many comedies <laughs> in high school? You know yeah, how many comedies are in there? <laughs> We're, we've been we're talking about it for the past like we 30 minutes. <laughs> we've mentioned this movie multiple times. Scott, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim. Oh, okay, <laughs> love that right, movie. Yeah. I, could, I could watch that movie at, at any number of times you want. It's always funny. It's always great. The soundtrack's awesome. The video game humor that they have in it. 
Right. Well, okay, so where does that fit? Two or three? I'm going to say two. All right, okay. And then number right. three is a 90s comedy, and it was based off of an SNL sketch. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have heard him talk about Wayne's World a If lot, you can yeah. watch that movie and not laugh, I don't want to know you as a person. Like, it is one of the funniest movies ever made. The the scene where they're, you know, they're they're all getting the, the corporate sponsors. It's so funny. I, I, you and Devante have a common, like, movie star in both your movies. It's uh, Michael Myers. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe they let him act after he killed all those people. All right, we're gonna move on to let's do shows first. It's close to close to movies. Oh, wait, are we actually still gonna list them? What do you mean? <laughs> we got like ten minutes left, bro. We got ten minutes. Oh well, it took us thirty minutes to get through three movies. <laughs> what? We can't make this a two-hour podcast. Are our listeners not that attentive? <laughs> I don't if know you, if I'm if, that attentive. <laughs> listen, all right, if you're just, so as to not cause our editor to actually strangle all four of us to death. Perhaps we should just quickly, beat by beat, say what our. Oh yeah, I was gonna speed it up a little like. bit. I, I, I'm just saying, like, if you're this far into our podcast and you're not ready to listen to two hours of it, we don't like you. You shouldn't listen anyway. Please don't insult our <laughs> listeners that are still here at this point and have an exit out. All five of them, right? <laughs> our, our listener, which is Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, so, so TV shows. Maybe just r- rattle off your top, top three there. Same order. Breaking Bad is my favorite. Chuck is another hey. favorite of mine. Love Chuck. And then Parks and Rec. Hey, that's good. Mine would be Futurama. Yeah, not including any animators. So <laughs> yeah, not including any anime. Uh, Futurama, Breaking Bad, and Parks and Rec. Um, I'd probably go with Futurama, True Detective, the first season. And then, oh, I don't know, the last one? What shows do I watch? Probably um, New Girl, actually. Yeah. New Girl. Oh, boy. New Girl. The show Joey <laughs> only watches and no one else in the entire world watches. <laughs> hey, so two of our friends were always, uh, well, one of our friends was always giving me crap for watching New Girl and having it be like one of my favorite shows. And then two of our other friends watched it after making fun of me, and they both loved it. So I think if people gave it a chance, they would really like it. Sure. You know what? All right, Brian. All right. Uh, it's top three. I would say... Parks and Rec, okay. Cowboy Bebop. I know you guys didn't include anime, but I just don't have as much animes as you guys. So like, it's right, like fair. one of the five animes I've watched. So, and I love that show. And then I'm gonna go BoJack Horseman. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I nice. really like BoJack Horseman. It's a, it's a good show. So, video games. Video games. Okay. So if I were to just hit my Favorite video games right off the bat, I would say Witcher 3. Solid game. Kingdom Hearts 1. And Bioshock Infinite. Played through all three of those a crazy amount of times. Quick story here about, about Bioshock Infinite. I played the first Bioshock, and then one day I come over here to Pat's house, and uh, our friend Jim is here. By the way, we didn't even mention Jim. Jim is our other member who could not make it today. You will get the chance to meet him later on. But it, we, I came over, and Jim and I are at Pat's house. Pat's playing through the end of Bioshock Infinite. Do you think it's okay if I spoil? To talk about it's how long. been long enough. Yeah, it's been it's, 10 years. Yeah. It's so, at this point. so at the end of the game, there's this whole like multiverse thing going on, and like the villain is you from an alternate timeline. And this is the first thing I'm seeing from it. And like you're drowning this future version of yourself in like a, 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 a bath, a, a bird bath. <laughs> and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Can I include any more us in that sentence? Yes. Yeah, I could. Rapid fire us. Uh, <laughs> like you a did so well. I know, did yeah, so this, well. It's just the moment then. where he crumbled. And then yeah. he was like, let me get as many in as I can. <laughs> Birdbath was locked in a section of my brain. I had to uh as many times as I could just break down the door to get to it. But uh, it, it was very interesting to see that game from the end and then play it, knowing full well how it all would go, all go. So I, did, did I interrupt you three or did you get all three out? Witcher 3, Kingdom Hearts, Bioshock. Right, Prime. yes. Brian, even you don't listen to our podcast? No. Hey, wow. here I have to put out one thing, disclosure for the audience, since I've spent so much time crapping on Brian for having weird tastes. I think the original <laughs> Bioshock is the word, worst of the three. 
So he, clearly, ho- hopefully you don't actually know Pat because you probably want to punch him at this point because he's just wrong. But we can move no. on to Divine. Bioshock Infinite is... Uh, and Bioshock Infinitely Infinite better. And Bioshock 2. Ooh. Tom, can you mute his mic? Is clearly that possible? far better. All right. All right. Move on. <laughs> so, my, uh, so my top three would probably go Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That's my number one game. Just actually two, not none of the rest of them. Uh, Mega cute. Man X on Super Nintendo. And then Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Ooh. would be my number three. So I'm looking forward to Breath of the Wild 2 because it seems like it's going to be a darker version of Breath of the Wild, which is going to hopefully be on the same tone as Majora's Mask. I'm pretty excited. Um, For me, I'd probably go Super Smash Brothers, the original one. Um, a lot of mine are probably going to be older just because I don't, I don't have, well, I do have an Xbox one, but I don't play video games that are that recent. So probably Super Smash Brothers, the original. And then I loved playing Resident Evil 4, um, on GameCube and Altered Beast for Sega Genesis because, Altered Beast. dude, I spent so much time trying to play that game. Um, and I memorized like when specific enemies would come up because the game never changes. There's five levels and there's like these little, like there's a cave level with like a dragon and like you turn into these different (laughs) animals basically. And I swear I cannot beat that game. I tried so hard and like, maybe I'm just crap at video games because that's totally possible, but I can't beat it. (laughs) It makes me so mad. And one day I'm gonna try again, but oh. I think I'm good for like ten years right now. <laughs> you just have a four four player co op try to beat it for Joey. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we we'll all help him get to the end. I'll be like the older brother <laughs> yeah. that had to be handed the controller. <laughs> uh, so as far as my three, I think it, I'm surprised no one else mentioned it, but I would say my uh, third favorite game is Minecraft. There's, there's just so much you can do with that, and it, I love it. Second one is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door for GameCube. It's the best like RPG I've ever played. I love it. It's so good. And then the first one is Ocarina of Time. That was definitely the game that, you know, I'd go to Blockbuster and just pick up all the time. And now that I own it, you know, played through it so many times. It's such a great game. Yeah. Yeah. Some good stuff. I like Paper Mario 1 a little better, but that's just me. See, I disagree with both <laughs> with you, with Pat and you. I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is better than 1, and I think uh, Paper Mario 2 is better than Paper Mario 1. I can understand. Can we both agree that the direction they've taken it in being more of like a platformer is completely wrong and a terrible decision? It is. It is. But people are hoping, I don't know if you saw anything on Twitter or anything, nope. but I guess you're not on Twitter, but a guy is <laughs> remaking Paper Mario a Thousand Years Door to look like Color Splash. So like he's remaking the game, but it's just picture stills of it. But I don't know if you know how Color Splash Paper Mario looks when it looks a little bit more high death cartoon. Yeah, yeah. He's doing that for all of the stages in Thousand Year Door, and looks amazing. And they're tweeting at Nintendo to try to get it done to have it. Do they know the how Switch. Nintendo works? I mean, they're just gonna send him like a uh, stop what you're doing. I forget the legal term for that is. Yeah, yeah but yeah, at the same Season time, desist. they are kind of being a little bit more lenient as you can see with the new smash brothers and people are tweeting it like some of the characters that were missing from smash 4 like ridley or um, yeah yeah they're listening more yeah yeah yeah, they're listening a little bit more for people tweeting at them so you never know all right so lastly we have our favorite bands or artists music artists let's just all say our favorite ones and not do a top three sure I'll say Led Zeppelin. Says the guy in the Led Zeppelin shirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wore it last time when we did a practice recording, so I thought I'd That's double it back. It's a podcast anyway. shirt. Yeah, yeah. it's recording yeah, yeah. Good luck. Uh, so mine would be Dance, Gavin, Dance. as my number one. Uh, cold play for me. I can't decide. Yeah, I was like, this is going to be my <laughs> uh, Why did you ask? <laughs> Everybody I had top three. Fires. You said top one. I didn't say that. All right. Well, tell us your top three. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do top three. It's really hard. <laughs> Uh, I, I have an order though. So Pink Floyd, Frank Turner, and then st- number st- number one would be Streetlight Manifesto. So, so, so you know you're number, number one. one. Oh, I do. It's Streetlight Manifesto. No. <laughs> Sometimes the words come out faster than I talk, so that's why I thought it, doing a podcast would be a great idea. <laughs> so, All right. <laughs> so, so it's time. It's we're nearing the end here. Uh, if if you if you're still here magically, you know that's awesome. Thanks for thanks for listening. All right, so this is the section of the podcast that we had to rec- re-record because uh, I forgot to mention something. So that might be why it sounds a little bit different because no one's here right now and I had to record it by myself. 
Um, but that's fine. That's fine. So you're probably tired of hearing about us, and we're not really that interesting and all that. But this podcast will be. I promise you that. So our name has to do with our four topics, the music, movies, video games, and shows. Those are all things you can pause, hence pause button podcast. Um, but also kind of like a re- relax, unwind, pause button on life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so with that, you can expect us to be talking about those four topics, along with a couple other extra ones, like uh, history, social media, Dungeons and Dragons, comics, anything that kind of doesn't fit too well into that area, they'll be coming out uh, randomly throughout our schedule. So uh, these episodes will, of course, be hosted by our the six of us. There's me, Brian, Pat, Joey, Devante, Tom, the tech guy, and then Jim, who's going to be here eventually. So... Uh, examples of different topics that are coming up. We're going to be comparing books versus their movies, discussing important people from pop culture, uh, researching video game franchises, and then talking about their growth over time. Inclu- uh, we'll also talk about interesting facts from various artists and albums, everything from Bach to, I don't know, like Chains the Rapper. So all over the place. It's going to be great. We have so much more coming for you guys. So again, this was a point five episode, so kind of like an introductory, hey, here we are, this is what this is going to be about. And then in two weeks from today, on August 28th, well, I guess it's not two weeks from today, because you might not listen to this the first day we post it, but you know what I mean. On August 28th, uh, we're going to post our very first episode, and then we'll be posting every other week after that. So every other week we'll be posting. We are so excited to bring this all to you. Uh, We've got a lot of exciting things to be talking about and to present, and it's going to be awesome. We'll be posting for weeks and weeks and years to years to keep you entertained until we're all all dead um but but uh until then of course we got a lot of fun topics so in fact tom is going to be telling us about our next topic and this is where we're going to switch back to the old recording because tom in the past past tom what is our next topic next week we will be discussing webbed feet we hope to have you guys there so obviously this is a shoe feet based podcast we're talking about webbed feet that's in two weeks but until then now we're gonna hit pause